Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we want to do is look at this uh, capacitor. Uh, we're going to learn how to check it and uh, and replace it with one link style. Okay, so uh, this is a dual capacitor. All right, so it has three spade terminals. What the first thing you want to do with the outdoor condensing unit or the heat pump, you want to go ahead and turn that power off. All right, and then you can go ahead and take your um, wire strippers and cutters and go ahead and grab a hold of them, and you want to wiggle it a little bit and pull. Up, just like that. So we got our wires off. You don't want to do that with your fingers because uh, that hurts your fingers. That's why I always use this right here. Um, all right. So uh, when the comp compressor and the fan turned off last time, uh, hopefully most of the uh, charge would have dissipated <clears throat> out of the capacitor while trying to power the uh, blower motor and the fan, but just in case, what we're going to do uh, is we're going to go ahead and short across here. And you're going to need to do that anyway, just to get any remaining uh, voltage out of that um, capacitor. All right. So you're just going to take it from C to fan and and uh, C to herm. All right. You want to use a screwdriver that does not have any chrome paint on it. It's just bare metal. And just to show you what I'm talking about right here, so you can see the C. All right. That's C right there and fan okay and there it says herm and herm stands for hermetically sealed compressor right fan is the outdoor uh, fan motor on the top and common um, is where the voltage comes in at uh, this is usually powered front right off of the contactor and then you can usually just travel and and follow those wires from the uh, contactor if you're not sure which wire goes where you can follow it from the from the um, from the capacitor uh, to the fan motor, okay? The common from the contactor to the capacitor and the herm on the capacitor to the compressor. All right, so uh, now that we've done that, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check the rating here, all right? And the rating says 35 slash five UF and 370 VAC. Uh, inside, there's castor oil, right? And uh, if you ever see a mushroom top on a capacitor, that's an indication that the capacitor's bad. If you ever see uh, the oil running down the side of it or dripping down below, clear indication that the capacitor is bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to read from C to Herm, and we'll check for our 35. You want to give it about 5-10 seconds to get a good reading on it, and here we go. So it says 36.46 UF, All right? So that's pretty darn close. It's a little bit above 35, All right? So that's good. Um, you do not want to have something that's uh, out of parameters like 5-6%. Say, um, say it's like 30 UF. That would definitely be bad. You don't. I wouldn't. Say, I would say that you would not want anything that would be less than 34. But anytime a capacitor reads lower than what it's supposed to, I usually end up replacing it. If it reads a little bit higher, I wouldn't let it go any higher than about 37, but normally they go down, not up. All right, so now we're going to check from common to fan. All right. And once again, give it 5, 10 seconds. And we read 5.22 UF. All right, so that is good. That's within uh, 5 uh, to 6%. All right, UF and microfarad mean the same thing, um, and uh, that's just an old factory lingo is UF, all right? They do mean the same thing. All right, that's that, and uh, usually dual capacitors that are out on outdoor condensers and single capacitors like this are usually on interior blower motors, all right? These are usually, say, 3, 5, or um, 7.5, or 10, or 15. UF, all right, on the indoor blower motor, you got to read the rating plate. <clears throat> if you if this is wore off of the capacitor, you want to look at the rating plate on the compressor and the rating plate on the fan motor for the five, all right. Uh, so that's where you would find that if this was was wore off. Don't guess; uh, it'll definitely burn out the motor um, if it's if it's off. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed yourself. See you next time at AC Service Tech.